Hey there everyone, in this video I'd like to troubleshoot a problem that um, some users are reporting when they add servos to their, uh, to their setup um, using the RC5HL. Okay, if you are running power from the RC5HL to your receiver, you may have, uh, well, problems using any other servos than the smaller servos. It appears this um, regulator here may not be giving just enough juice to run bigger size servos in your system. Not a problem, very easily worked around. All you need to do is get yourself a separate battery eliminator circuit or BEC um, to power up your receiver and your servos. So th this example here costs about you know four or five dollars from Hobby King. This is a three amp um, BEC. All you need to do is add that into your system and use this BEC to power your receiver and hence your servo. Now when you do that what you need to do is then you only need to run the signals from the receiver into the RC5HL. The RC5HL will get its power through this cable here so um, that's all fine. All you then need to do is just have one wire from you know signal 1 from channel 1 into input 1, channel 2 into input 2 and so on. So if you can see here on the RC5HL this second row of pins Okay, the, the V plus and the grounds, you don't need to connect those. Okay, just run the signal wires into your receiver. When you've done that, so I've powered up here, I'll show you we have no problems running servos. Okay, so we'll just turn the system on. Okay, and then wait till the uh, light to flash very rapidly. There we go. So signals, everything's ready, well, signals ready to be turned on. We'll turn on our tank. There we go. Um, just drive the motors for a bit. Motors connected over to the side here, but you'll hear it running. So you got your motors. Um, you know your turret rotation. Of course, you'll be using if you want to use your servo for rotation or elevation of, of your turret. Um, then of course you won't be using those. But I've got this um, servo here just set up um, to go wildly on channel seven. So each time. There we got actually that's set up on the fire button, but uh, there we go. So you see, I have no problems using the servo once it's powered by a separate um, battery elimination circuit. Okay, um, so yeah, uh, your output from your your back doesn't necessarily need to take up a separate uh, whole channel on your receiver. As you can see I've plugged mine into 8 and you may think oh well that's using up channel 8. Not the case. You simply reduce the um, the servo power plug. See, it's a 3 pin plug but it only uses 2 wires. You could simply um, trim it down so that you could use any of you know any of these ports to supply your power to your servo. So you don't necessarily need to um, take up a whole channel just to provide that extra power. So you still have your eight channels, you would just um, trim that, that that lead down. Okay, um, so that's how to work around getting servos to work with the RC5HL. Thank you.